A man has died after falling from a British Airways jet onto the roof of a building in southwest London. He and another man are believed to have clung onto the passenger plane as it flew more than 8,000 miles from Johannesburg to Heathrow. Shortly before, another man had been found unconscious in the undercarriage of a British Airways jet. That man was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Now, Margaret, as of this point, we still don't know if the two were related. They could have actually even been on that same plane. plane. They could have been friends. They could have done the, tried to do this journey together, but at this point, we don't really know because he fell out before the plane reached Heathrow, so he could have actually been on any plane. They don't even know when he fell. I mean, this situation is remarkable. The fact that an individual can crawl uh, you know, underneath the wheel of a plane without setting off any sort of security alarm bell, that is really frightening yeah. to me. I mean, this person could have had a bomb. You know, he, there's no telling. And just to be able to do that, we don't know if he actually worked for an airline or if he was just somebody who just walked onto an airstrip and did this. But that fact alone, what sort of security did they have at this airport where something like that can happen? Yeah, it would be a little bit more understanding, right, if he worked there, because you're already on the tarmac. Maybe you can slip in there without anyone noticing. But if he didn't work for the airport, I'm sure as police do more investigating, and they cooperate more with the South African police, they'll probably figure out whether or not he worked there. Um, but if, again, if he didn't, then that's just, like you said, that's remarkable that someone can get in there and carry this out without raising any suspicion at all. It's frightening. I'm, I'm glad that I wasn't on that plane, but even more troubling the circumstance that this man was going through that would have motivated him to have jumped on a plane like this, crawled in that tiny space, and thought that he could actually survive it and make it through that ordeal. Um, it really makes you wonder what he was thinking, and also the circumstances, how fortunate we are to be here, You know, to not even being able to fathom something like that. Right. And this man did it. Right, we all have here, we have our American passports, we don't have to apply for visas, it's fairly easy, you go online, you buy a ticket. Even if this man uh, had the money to buy the ticket, maybe he couldn't get a visa and just travel as easily as we can, so it's hard for us to imagine, like you said. But extremely dangerous way to travel, to say the least. I mean, look, if you're inside of this undercarriage of the plane where the landing gear is, if you're not crushed by the wheels when they come up, then you're facing sitting in there for 12 hours with very low levels of oxygen, not to mention sub-zero conditions. And then, unfortunately, this was the case in this man's fate, but when they open up, there's always that risk of falling out. Um, so it's extremely sad. Uh, we want to know what you guys have to say about all this. Do you think maybe these two guys were on the same plane, did it together, isolated incidents? That would be quite a coincidence. Anyway, we want to know what you guys have to say about all this, so please comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the Lip TV 2 for more.